as long as they have a history of having been in the Iraq or Afghanistan war and have come back with uh, symptoms and have been diagnosed with traumatic brain injury by a certified uh, person or clinic, uh, we then they become eligible and we will uh, evaluate them and see if they fit into our program. At that time, we will then uh, get the results of the examinations that they've had and the reports. Uh, we will talk to the uh, veteran to see whether they fit into our protocol. Uh, we follow up with a SPECT scan, which shows the oxygen perfusion in the brain. We do 40 treatments at one and a half atmospheres of pressure for uh, one hour, uh, five days a week. And then we have them evaluated with SPECT scan and then have the facility that had originally evaluated them re-evaluate them so there would be no bias on our part as to whether uh, the findings are ours or whether they are corroborated by someone else. We also will contact the family or relatives to find out if they have noticed any changes in the patient. The program is completely funded. And we we uh, take care of the SPECT scan and we take care of the hyperbaric oxygen treatment. We do not do any uh, transportation and we do not do anything with the pre and post workup. We, the, the agency that had originally seen them, we expect that they will reevaluate them for us. We have one that has already finished uh, and has had a beautiful result. Uh, his wife and his family have noted that he is a completely changed person. Uh, he was a person that would have to stop to think of what he was going to say. His wife told me that he carried a box around with all his material in there so he could refer to things because he couldn't coordinate things properly. Uh, his son told me that uh, about two weeks into the therapy that the box was gone. Uh, he verbalizes very well. His wife says he's almost like a new husband to her. Uh, his uh, SPECT scans also have shown improvement and his evaluation by the people that had done him uh, pre and post also have shown improvement. The major things that we look for, we, we want to be sure that they're closed head injury, that do not have open head wounds, uh, as long as they uh, have some type of problem, which would include uh, short-term memory loss, inability to function properly in society, inability to think, confusion, rage, uh, and uh, that, that, that's the type of symptoms that we're looking for. People are dived to a pressure of anywhere from one and a half to two and a half atmospheres and are fed 100% oxygen. Uh, some of the things that happen is a condition called angiogenesis, which is formation of blue blood vessels. Uh, it's a detoxifying agent, so it gets rid of heavy metals and some of the other toxic, toxic uh, materials in the body. And it does heal inflammatory tissue. Many of the autistic children have inflammation of the gut as well as so-called inflammation of the brain. And these children, the gut gets better while they're under treatment also, as well as the healing of the brain tissue. Um, so that there are, it, it does heal a lot of damaged tissue uh, that is not healed in any other way and does it in a very rapid fashion. Getting oxygen into the into the tissues is a, normally the, the blood comes up in, into the heart, goes to the lungs, is oxygenated, comes back to the heart and is pumped around the body. But it has to grow, go into the red cell and be then be brought to the various parts of the body, comes out of the red cell into the serum. And in the tissues, the amount of oxygen you get from what you get out of the lung to where it gets to the tail end, where it gets into the tissues, is minimal. Under pressure. The amount of oxygen that goes into the serum directly is about eight to ten times normal. So the amount of oxygen you get directly into the tissues is much, much higher than it would be under normal conditions. Um, you, as you can see here, um, this is what we use here at Midwest Heavy Barracks to, tr to treat um, the veterans in the, in the veterans program. Um, this is a Seacrest 3500. Um, we have Robert in here right now, and we are treating him at 1.5 atmospheres uh, for 60 minutes. Um, it's fairly easy. You can see he's very relaxed in there. He gets to watch a video. 
Um, we can communicate with Robert uh, right here just like this very easily. Um, the oxygen is actually coming in uh, through our oxygen, 3,000 gallon liquid oxygen tank out back. It's going into the chamber and circled out and circulated out back out into the atmosphere. Um, some of the effects that you might feel while you're in the chamber are um, you can have a little um, pressure squeeze on the ears, you can have a little sinus squeeze. Um, other than that, you don't feel the pressure um, like I'm grabbing you and you can feel that type of pressure. The pressure is felt physiologically 